one, two, what is today? Wednesday. I guess I should do this stuff before I make the video. and three days today. I cannot believe I am already this far along in this pregnancy. This pregnancy, I don't know if it's just me, is anyone else feeling like this, but I feel like this pregnancy is just flying by. At my ultrasound last week, the where he was placing the probe like all the way up like around my belly button and I'm like wow is the baby that high already like it, it didn't even occur to me that he, like the baby is already that big and then I looked at my little like app thing that I have I have a few of them I know people were asking which ones I have um I have one called nurture and I have one called baby center and those are the two that I just like look at I mostly just look at to see like how big the baby is this week so this week the baby is already 10 and a half inches from I believe that's from head to toe now I think they do head to toe because I know in the beginning they do head to butt so I think that's head to toe and it's already almost 13 ounces so that's ridiculous to me this baby is almost a pound already inside my body but I mean I guess I shouldn't be that surprised because I feel huge so I guess it makes sense symptoms this week sleep has been the number one thing and I don't mean sleep as in I'm sleeping I mean sleep as in I'm not sleeping <laughs> I cannot get comfortable at night I have a lot of trouble falling asleep even. I will just lay awake in my bed for hours trying to fall asleep and having absolutely no luck. So it seems like every night I pretty much go to bed around 1.30 and that's like completely my fault. It's not like my kids are keeping me awake. It's not like anything like that. It's just that I can't fall asleep. So 1.30 a.m. has been like my falling asleep time every night and then of course the kids wake me up the next day at like 7. So. I'm a little bit sleep deprived, which I guess is my body just preparing itself for having a newborn again. <laughs> my other main symptom this week is that my stomach, and I know this is just gonna get worse as time goes on, but my stomach just feels so heavy, especially at nighttime when I'm laying down and I'm trying to sleep. I obviously cannot sleep on my back at all anymore. It hurts, and I can still sort of sleep on not like on my stomach but like sideways so I like crank my stomach to the side and then kind of like sleep that way that's generally the most comfortable for me because then my stomach is like supported by the bed whereas if I just like lay straight on my side my belly's here it feels heavy like it feels like it's falling down like it feels like it needs to be held up by something or someone so if I do sleep on my side I will push a pillow up underneath the side that I'm sleeping on so that way it kind of like supports it that way I'm getting to the point where I cannot not wear something supporting my stomach. So I did mention that I have a, it's not over here, um, like a belly wrap, but I'm not in love with that one. So if anybody has any recommendations for a good solid belly wrap, and it's mainly due to my muscle separation at this point, I just need something that has like full coverage does that even make sense most of the belly wraps will just go like straight around like my belly button area or like underneath my belly area and it'll like hold my stomach up which is I know the main purpose of those things but for me I need something that like holds my belly together if that makes any sense because my muscles are like like ripping apart so what I've been mainly doing is wearing they have like these spandex camis I think I've talked about it before and it's used to like hold in like your like love handles and stuff generally people will get them to like hold their hold what they got in but for me it actually makes my stomach feel a lot better it makes me feel like I'm being supported so I will wear one of those and on top of that I prefer to wear maternity pants that have the full spandex belt thing and instead of just being like stretchy I think I wore those shorts last week where they just have like the stretchiness around and it doesn't actually have the support what is on my lip it is bugging me okay I had a hair but yeah I, th I think I'm pretty sure it was last week when I was wearing those shorts that they don't have like the full belly and I finally found shorts that do have it and I love these ones so much better I've been wearing them like every single day <laughs> you guys will see what I mean whenever I show you my belly I'll explain it better but I will wear yeah one of those like spandexy cami things and then on top of that I will pull up my maternity pants over that and that seems to give me like the most support I'm pretty sure I talked about this last week but my appetite is finally 100% back to normal I'm eating normal things and I've just really noticed it this week I'm starting to eat things and like things that I liked pre-pregnancy and slowly like getting them back into my diet to, so I'm not like 
just not eating anything or being like really picky like I was for the first 18 weeks of this pregnancy. <laughs> and now I'm actually starting to eat more normal foods and getting like more of a normal diet in. And now I'm finding myself like more hungry than I was like in the beginning of the pregnancy. The beginning of the pregnancy I probably was hungry but I just had no appetite so that it, it just kind of like I just didn't eat. I just didn't eat. But now I find myself hungry like every two hours. I'll eat like a full meal and then I'll still be hungry after that. And I'm like, just calm down. You can't be eating everything in sight just because you're pregnant. So other than that, those are like really my main like symptoms, things that have like been noticeable this last week. Not too much has really changed. I do have a midwif, a midwif. <laughs> I cannot talk today. I do have a midwife appointment tomorrow. I don't think anything that exciting is going to be happening. So I will update about that in my next pregnancy vlog. So the main thing that has changed this last week was that I revealed our names to you guys. So if you have not seen our name reveal, I don't wanna spoil it for you. Click like, click right there. Click right here and I'll wait. Or I have a link below. But if you have already watched that video, then you know that we have our two names picked out and I'm so, 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 so super excited about them. And I wanna talk about talk of the, 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 the. and I want to talk about them just a little bit to let you guys know like kind of how we came up with them and stuff like that it's not like a super long extravagant story so I thought I'd just throw it into this week's vlog so our boy name that we have picked out is Jackson Scott and our girl name that we have picked out is Adeline Jade I guess I will start with the boy name because I think that one threw people off the most they're like what is up with the J middle name because you guys have been following me for a while all of my kids middle names start with a J so this is how the baby name picking with the boy kind of went down. We had two different names that we both kind of liked. So it was just like, and neither of them were Jackson. We really, really went between Oliver and Easton. And those were the two that we liked. I still really like both of the names. Those are the two that we kind of were going back and forth on. And then I liked Easton more and he liked Oliver more through having the discussion of which name we were gonna pick what the middle name was gonna be um, Jackson got thrown in there and as you guys know Lilia came up with Jackson or suggested Jackson to me I don't know where she heard it I don't know if she has a friend named Jackson or whatever but she suggested it to us and I actually got that on camera I'll link that vlog down below if you haven't seen that vlog and the second I heard that name I really 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 liked it and so when we were going back and forth between Easton and Oliver Jackson kind of got thrown in there as like a third option and between the three of them Chris and I both really really liked Jackson the best the problem with Jackson and the reason why I didn't initially pick it was that putting a J middle name with a J first name just doesn't really sound right and it can sound right so if we did like Jackson James that would be nice but we already have a James we already have a Joseph we already have a John and we already have a Jean Lily is a Jean so we don't have very many J middle names to pick from. So we threw a lot of them out there, but either he didn't like it or I didn't like it or just the name together just didn't sound right. So we decided to pass down Chris's middle name, which is Scott. His mom actually suggested it. And when I heard that, I was like, Jackson Scott, that's perfect. And then that's the name that I was talking about. Chris was like, oh, okay, now I want a boy. Now I really want a boy. I don't feel too bad about this baby not having a J middle name if it is a boy because Tommy doesn't have a middle name. And so that way, like, not all of the boys have a middle name already. And so it just, it doesn't... I don't know, I did really have my heart set on having a J middle name for a boy, but it just really didn't work out for the name that we fell in love with. And it really did work out because it's a family name that we get to pass down. So that is how we came up with the name Jackson Scott, or Lilia technically came up with the name Jackson, and then we came up with the middle name Scott. As for Adeline, I honestly couldn't tell you where we heard this, or how we heard it, or when we heard it. Before I was even pregnant, we had heard this name and really liked it. So when I got pregnant, it was kind of just assumed. We both loved the girl name, Adeline. It really wasn't much of a discussion. We were like, we love it. And the only discussion that we had was how we were gonna spell it. So that's how we came up with that one. We just really, really loved it. I think it's a beautiful name and it's not too common. At least I don't I don't know anybody named Adeline or anybody's babies named Adeline. A few people did say that they did know Adeline's or they had an Adeline. As for the middle name, Jade, if you have been following me for a long, long time, my nickname as a child was Jade. My cousin called me Jade, a couple of my friends called me Jade, and it was just a name that I really, really liked and I think it's beautiful. We threw out a few different 
J possibility middle names for a girl and it, we just really both agreed that we liked Jade the best especially with Adeline Adeline Jade I just think it like flows nicely I think it's beautiful that is kind of how we came up with the girl name that we have so I hope that answers all of your guys's questions about the names if you guys have any other questions like about the names or about anything else go ahead and comment down below and I will either answer it in the comments or I'll answer it in my next video but other than that that's really pretty much it for this week oh I ordered a dresser I ordered a dresser for the baby because we're starting to get a pile of stuff and it's just sitting on top of our dresser and I was like we need something to put this in so we ordered a dresser and that is supposed to be here I think like today or tomorrow so that's the only other new thing and then I do I am going to do some kind of like clothing haul for the baby whether it's neutral clothes and like I said I am buying a few different boy things and a few different girl things to have handy just in case because I swear everybody on my Facebook feed right now is pregnant we, we're all due around the same time so if I have a boy I'll have someone to give girl stuff to and if I have a girl I'll have someone to give boy stuff to so I am buying a few select like only if it's like super 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 duper cute um, things that are like specifically for a boy and specifically for a girl but for the most part we're just getting like junior junior God. But for the most part, we're just getting like gender neutral stuff. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my 21 week belly. All right. So here is with the shirt on. I feel like I'm so massive for only being 21 weeks. And here's with the shirt up. So this is what I'm talking about with this like band that we have. Um, a lot of maternity clothes will have this band, but some of them won't have the band and they'll just have like a stretchy thing here. So these are definitely what I prefer. It just I just feel like it gives me more support for my stomach. Here is with the shirt up. And this week I am measuring at bum -ba -da -dum, almost 38 it looks like. Probably about 37 and 3 quarters. So I am growing definitely which is good so that is pretty much it for this week guys make sure you follow me on facebook instagram and snapchat for more like frequent updates and other than that i will talk to you guys next week for week 22 already bye guys i was so 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 nervous going into that ultrasound appointment there are people who saw those pictures and saw those videos and they're like i already know what it is i could see it seven seconds it did this and this and that <laughs> just be normal